Ladies and gentlemen, BRICS is changing how we see the world and how the world operates. Things are really changing for good. Here with me is a report from the Wall Street Journal. It says that Saudi Arabia considers Chinese bid for nuclear plant. That means Saudi Arabia want to partner with China to be a nuclear power plant in Saudi Arabia. As usual, <laughs> Americans says uh, the step that uh, Saudi Arabia is trying to take, it will derail U.S. plant in the kingdom. What plans? What plans exactly? You're supposed to be partnering with countries to be, to have a mutual benefit. So these are the type of things that will make country to look other direction. The other partner might be bad as well, but at least between two evils, you choose the lesser evil. China might be bad, USA might be bad, but at least which one will you go for, China or USA? So this uh, the Wall Street Journal are just saying that uh, it would derail Americans' plant in the in the region. So I don't know if it's with regard to Israel and the Palestine issued. I don't know. Yeah, so this is a state-owned China National Nuclear Corp that it has succeeded to be, to beat to build a nuclear plant in Saudi Arabia, Eastern Province, near the border with uh, Qatar and the United Arab Emirates. So the news reported citing Saudi Arabia officials with the matter. Here it says that uh, Chinese foreign minister did not confirm the report, but a ministry spokesperson told a news briefing China will continue to conduct mutually beneficial cooperation with Saudi Arabia in various fields, including civil nuclear energy, while strictly abiding by international non-proliferation obligations. So, <laughs> you know, when any country start thinking about going nuclear, America start panicking that maybe they will build a nuclear weapon like what is currently happening between Israel and uh, Iran. Everybody is scared. Um, ev I mean, everybody like uh, USA and Israel, they are scared that uh, Iran will develop a nuclear weapon. And if Iran <laughs> develop a nuclear weapon, it is a game changer, not just for the USA, nor Iran. It will be for Israel as well and in the entire Gulf. Because Israel will not be the, the bully anymore, because they will have now to come to where they will to the point they will have to also compromise on some major things. Because when they are dealing or trying to make some kind of agreement, it's very difficult for Israel to compromise on some certain things. They will not give it up because they know they are the bullies, they have the final decision at some certain level. But if Iran succeeds, or any other Arab country, or any Islamic country, per se, succeed in that very region, everything will change. Literally, everything will change. No matter how they say Israel has 400 nukes, they believe that that is everything. But if another country succeeds to get it in that region, everything will change. That thing will no longer benefit them again. Because if you want to go nuke, you send, they will send two. <laughs> everything will be destroyed. So they will come to a point that they can make a decision that will benefit everybody involved. Listen to this. Saudi Arabia has previously sought U.S. cooperation in establishing a civilian nuclear program on its soil as part of a possible normalization deal with Israel. U.S. officials have said in the past they would share nuclear power technology only if the agreement prevents enrichment of uranium or reprocessing of plutonium made in reactors to root to making nuclear weapons. See? They are not even focused that the country wants to also develop a nuclear power plant to boost their energy quest, to power their systems or to make their citizens to light up but they are more focused or more <laughs> they are more focused on the the nuclear possibility so that is just it they have it israel has it usa has it 
but they are preventing other countries from having it. Listen to this. Saudi officials acknowledged that exploring the issue with China was a way of goading the Biden administration to compromise on it known proliferation requirements you need to give something to receive something you don't just have to keep telling people what to do it's just like you are the bully of course and a bully you always go by the bullies <laughs> final say Saudi officials said they would prefer to hire South Korea state utility Korea electric power to build the plants reactors and involve US operational experts but without agreeing to the proliferation control that Washington generally requires. The Saudi official said Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was prepared to move ahead with the Chinese company soon if talks with the U.S. fail, the Washington said. You are not to make the final decision anymore. It's supposed to be a win-win for both parties. If something that is in my country you want to benefit from it more than me then means you are just a colonizer and now with the presence of BRICS and what uh, USA and Western Europe have done to Russia everything has literally changed China had the possibility to do all this but China could not do it by himself but they needed outside support human support because China has almost everything the manpower, the resources, the finances, they have everything. But they need human support. They should not be alone in doing everything. Russia is there with them now. And now the BRICS is moving like never before. Six new members have been admitted and they will start their operation by January 2024. That is it. Listen to this. This one is good. Israel's energy minister has voiced opposition to the idea of Saudi Arabia developing a civilian nuclear program as part of any U.S. effort to forge closer Israel-Saudi relations. Israel has said it expected to be consulted by Washington on a U.S.-Saudi deal affecting its national security. Israel, which is outside the voluntary non proliferation treaty and has no nuclear energy is widely believed to have atomic weapons they are saying they are scared of their life or they are scared of the national security that if Saudi succeeds to get anything whether it be it a civilian nuclear power plant they might one day develop a nuclear weapon that will be militarized and might be trying to use against Israel well I don't see Saudi making any effort to attack Israel. The major military struggle is between Israel and uh, Iran presently. And it has been going on for long. So, first of all, United Nations Security Council, have been, all those guys that have been trying to, that's uh, Israel should open their nuclear power plant for observation. They refuse, literally. But they want Washington to consult them for their relationship between is uh, Saudi Arabia and USA it's not even the relationship between Saudi Arabia and Israel is a relationship between Saudi Arabia and USA 